You tell me when. When. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's certainly my great pleasure to be here today. We're here, obviously, to open the NASDAQ stock market. And today is truly a special day because I'm honored to have you joining with us today the President of Mexico, Felipe Calderon. Let's give a warm welcome. <laughs> Not yet. Now, now, Professor Calderon is truly one of the greatest leaders on the world stage. As one of these great leaders, it's important to recognize the many challenges that he has faced and truly some intractable problems. And through these sets of challenges and intractable problems, he has clearly moved his country forward in a very positive way on a wide range of issues. I'd like to take a minute to mention a few of his accomplishments. The, really, this commitment to sound economic policy has led to great results. You've seen increased exports, and especially in this time of really difficult economic situations for the globe, it's important to note that this economy has grown. It's grown 5.5% uh, in 2010, 4% in 11, and we look like we're on track for another 4% growth year in 2012. We'd like to have some of those, those results in the U.S., but congratulations <laughs> for that. And as part of that success, we've seen that exports to the U.S. has grown to over $300 billion in a year. And it's important for us, uh, us Americans to recognize that in that $300 billion, that about 40% of the content from those imported goods were actually made here in the United States of America. Truly a great bilateral uh, relationship. And that's evidenced by the fact that really Mexico is more than any country important to the U.S. for our economic and our security. Uh, clearly we have common interest. And when you think about the fact that when we look at our global trading partners, Mexico remarkably is neck and neck with China to be second to Canada with respect to trading relationships uh, with the U.S. And part of that is a direct result of policies that President Calderon has championed. And he's championed policies for, I think, the North American interest, whether it be on regulatory side, whether it be on cooperation on different issues and modernizing border, strengthening innovation, and protecting IP rights. And it's important to recognize as a result of all these efforts, the U.S. actually has more goods traded with Mexico than Brazil, India, Japan, and Britain combined. Truly remarkable. Quick round of applause there. Now, we at NASDAQ are proud when we talk about this great trading relationship that some of our great listed companies are one of the leading practitioners of this bilateral trade. They include Costco, Apple, Microsoft, and probably more importantly, there's 18,000 U.S. companies that do active business in Mexico. In addition, we've seen the president improve the lives of the Mexican people. He has certainly invested more in infrastructure, health care, and education. And when you recognize the problems he has with organized crime, clearly he's represented a profile and courage in terms of really making the big investment on that. And it's really my great pleasure to have you here today, so please come up to the podium. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure for me to be here, and thank you for this invitation. Uh, I was want to comment that Mexico is making a great performance in economic fields and other fields. Actually, Mexican economy, as Bob was saying, is growing and growing every single year. We are generating 700,000 jobs in formal markets a year, and our economy is growing by 13 quarters in a row. So there is an expansion of Mexican economy of more than 16% since the second semester in 2009. And under the current circumstances in the global economy, that is no bad for us, and is no bad for American people and American consumers and American workers. Because Mexican people like a lot of American products, and we are among the best buyers of American products right now. And our economy is growing in competitiveness as well, for instance, when I took office six years ago, Mexico was the ninth largest exporter of vehicles in the world. And today, 
we are the fourth largest exporter of vehicles in the world. Actually, <laughs> Mexico is exporting roughly one billion a day, one billion dollars a day. Those are our export, exports, and that implies a lot of Mexican jobs, and of course, a lot of American jobs, because the input for Mexican products, in particular in, in, in manufactured products, are coming from the States. Now we are exporting, for instance, 60% of the manufacturers of the whole region of Latin American and Caribbean countries. That means that Mexico is exporting more manufacturers than the rest of Latin American and Caribbean countries, including Brazil. And the way to do that is we are investing a lot in infrastructure. We, are, we have built or rebuilt 20,000 kilometers in six years, which means the distance between North and South Pole. We are investing in people. Um, we created 140 new universities from Greenfield. And in that sense, there are 113 thousand new engineers in Mexico every single year graduating. That means more engineers in Mexico than in Germany, Canada, or Brazil. Finally, I want to say that uh, a lot of companies in NASDAQ are investing in Mexico in, in a very successful way. And actually, Mexican stock market is uh, being one of the most successful markets last year. And I hope that any one of you that have the opportunity has the opportunity to invest in our country, will get a success story in his investment. So thank you very much. Good luck. And I hope that the economy will improve very soon. And Mexico is doing its part in order to do that in benefit for all. So thank you very much. President, I'd like to present you in honor of the NASDAQ opening bell ceremony and all the great done, uh, work you've done for your country. The NASDAQ opening bell crystal. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.